Hey guys, so welcome to this quick tutorial where we're going to install DeepSeq R1 model locally and also try to run it as well using Chatbox AI. Basically, it has a nice um, chat UI interface that we can actually run the model as well. So, DeepSeq R1 is the current training model where it basically the performance rivals uh, OpenAI's O1 model. So, it's pretty useful to actually get it started with and actually try out some of the models that I actually provided. So, let's just get started with we're downloading Olama locally. So, just go ahead to olama.com. Click download, then download for Windows. And since I already have it installed, I won't be going through that. So just click on the Ulama setup.exe and just install it. So once you're done with that, just go on to CMD, command prompt, and just go ahead and type in Ulama. And if this is not correctly, you should be able to see all these uh, commands. And go on to Ulama list, which gives you the list of models that are in uh, installed. So currently, I do not have any installed. So some of the DeepSeq R1 models that I've provided is in this parameter range from 1.5 billion all the way up to 671 billion. So the ones with 1.5 billion uh, is going to be the smaller one and 671 billion is up to 400 gigabytes. And obviously these models have better performance than the ones in the smaller parameters. So, but if you just want to get started with, you can just try out the small models. So just go ahead and copy this and go back to command prompt and just paste it and just run that. So, it's just this is a small model, so it's just one gigabyte. And if you want to try out different models, you can just download the other ones. So, meanwhile, while we are downloading that, just go ahead to Chatbox AI. Just go ahead and download this uh, for Windows or whatever uh, platform you have. And once you open it up, you should have a simple this. So, once we're done installing, we will come right back. Okay, so now that we're done installing, you should say something like success. And you're able to type any messages here, so you can just go ahead and try out the model and just say hi, Obama. Sorry, not hi, deep seek. And it actually goes through the thought process, just like O1 model, and it's kind of funny. So it just goes through what's his reasoning, and then it comes up with a response. So let's just wait for it to complete. See how it performs. And there you go. It comes up with a response shows that I've actually thought of it and now I just this is the final one. So which is kind of cool. So just doing it all here, you can see the code, it's not exactly readable. We can actually go ahead and use chat box that we installed. So just go ahead and open up the chat box, click on settings, change the model provider to Olama and you should be able to see your model here as well. And able to change all these parameters. But just go ahead and click save and there you go, you basically have a deep sync model which is uh, similar to your chat GPT. So just go ahead and say hi as well. And it comes up in a much more presentable way. And that's pretty much it. So if you want to try other models, you can go ahead and run the um, similar way. Just you have to make sure there's enough uh, space on your story. So you can go ahead and use cloud machines or, or anything that you wish to. So yep, thanks for watching. 